team has to have identity and promotion and here we are sitting 101 years after the game was uh, started by his father. In 1900, he came north along with thousands of other people looking for gold. The California team that you read about was actually the California Saloon. So that's how dad played with the California boys, because <laughs> he was tending bar. I think he played every year until he was past the age. The only thing that's going to be different, guys, is this little fence right here, okay? And a, and a ball may slide under there. If it does, we're going to have to have an interference. You know how these people are up here. Oh, yeah. Who's going to do anything for a baseball? I thought pitching at 10.30 at night is going to be a little different and I have to have a nap in the daytime, so I did. And uh, it, was, it was a lot of fun, a lot of people there. It was, it was really exciting. There are certain things in amateur baseball that are special and obviously one of them is the Midnight Sun game and it's a great experience for kids to say, you know, I've, I've played in that. It used to be during the games, if it got a little dark, the crowd would start getting rowdy and start calling for the lights, and that would spur the visiting team to, to do the same. In recent years, they haven't come close because I don't hook them up until after the Midnight Sun game.
I got a catch. You did see Yes, it. at the corner of my eye. I, got, I had to get it quick. Because it's daytime, you don't really notice, but when we get home at 2 o'clock, uh, you don't know what to do with yourself. I think it's the uh, middle of the afternoon still. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. The game was special to me because I had never played that late in the evening before. The crowd was very warm, and I also played well, so I was happy to have taken part in the game. Last year's game televised live around the world on the internet. People in New Zealand were watching and other places. Any endeavor that we can be in the limelight on a national basis, you know, is what has steered me. Okay. 